Behind me is a 53-foot PureTech mobile DI trailer that is used for critical, high-purity, high-flow water applications. Inside the trailer are 14 Flomax tanks for a combined 630 cubic feet of ion exchange resin. These tanks can be configured in numerous ways to meet different flow and quality requirements for the end user. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more features of this trailer. In the front of the trailer, you have your service connections. This is the service inlet, where feed water enters the trailer, and next to it is the service outlet, where deionized water comes out of the trailer. There are two inlets and two outlets with fire hose connections. The reason for this is if the water flow is 50 to 150 gallons per minute, you can use one hose. If the feed water flow is 150 to 400 GPM, then you would use two hoses to feed the inlet and two for the outlet. Here you have your rinse up valve on the end here. You have your uh, control power and your utility power over here. And it's very important that when you operate the trailer that there's 120 volt power applied to the trailer at all times. This trailer is designed to close the service inlet when there's a loss of control power. The utility power, on the other hand, is used to power the interior lights and climate control heaters inside the trailer. Finally, you have your pressure relief valve, which opens when the, when the inlet valve is turned off and there's still feed flow to the trailer. The inlet valve will shut down under two scenarios. First, if the water quality leaving the trailer goes beyond the customer's endpoint, which is typically one microsiemen. And second, if control power is lost to the trailer. In either of these scenarios, the inlet valve would close and the pressure relief valve would open. This safeguard is put in place to ultimately prevent out-of-spec water going to our customer. Okay, now let's take a look on the driver's side of the trailer. You have a control panel that houses a PLC-based remote monitoring system that trends real-time water flow and quality. Not only can you see it here on the HMI screen, but you can also view and record this data online, which is really helpful. There's also a bank selector switch where you can manually select one or both banks to run simultaneously. One bank can run from 50 to 150 gallons per minute. Otherwise, both banks are needed for flows between 150 and 400 gallons per minute. There's also an interior light switch and a quality bypass button that will override the low quality shutdown for a period of 10 minutes each time you press it. Overall, this mobile DI trailer is a fantastic way to achieve deionized water for high flow applications, especially when it's being delivered by trained drivers who really care about our customers. Thank you.